Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create tables in OpenOffice Writer. So I'm going to go to my start menu here and I'm going to click on OpenOffice Writer. And it looks very similar to Microsoft Word. First of all, I'm going to save my document. And I've already created a file here, how to create OpenOffice tables. I'm just going to overwrite that file. And if you're not familiar with OpenOffice Writer, I mean, you've never really used this before, then I suggest you check out my tutorial, go to my YouTube page, and you can find this tutorial here, OpenOffice Writer Beginner's Tutorial. It's about an hour long, but it will go through literally top to bottom. Most of the functions in OpenOffice is a good beginner's tutorial to check out. So if you're not familiar with this software at all, I'll advise you to check this tutorial out. So for now, we've got this blank document and I want to insert a table in here and it's always worth trying to work out how many columns you want in your table before you create the table sometimes you don't know sometimes it's just you may not know how many columns you want but if you know how many you want up front it makes life a little bit easier so I'm going to hit the enter key once it's going to put one blank space in here and I'm going to go to this table tool and if I click on the little button here this little menu will pop up and it will ask me how many columns or how many rows I want and there's some other you know auto formatting in here so you can create a table with certain formats um, and for now we're going to ignore these auto formats I just want to show you how to do this in a more of a manual method and then we'll come back and look at this auto formatting and some other options after so I'm click cancel and I'm going to click on this little drop down arrow here and in here this little table will pop up and you can highlight how many rows or how many columns you want and in this example I'm going to say I want four rows and one sorry four columns and one row when I click on this little option here it's going to insert these four rows four columns and one row should I say and if I want to insert another row there's a few ways of doing this I'm currently my mouse cursor is in the first cell so in this first cell here and I can hit the tab key and every time I hit the tab key on the keyboard it's going to move the cursor to the next cell and when I get to this last cell when I get to this last cell here I can hit the tab key one more time and it's going to create a new row and I can keep doing that I keep tabbing across it's going to keep creating rows so I'm going to get rid of these let's just delete these for now let's just start off with the one row and another thing that you need to know is if I if I click out of the table up here this little table tool disappears and when I click on the table it appears and this is really all the formatting gets done on this little table here this little tool here so we can add rows and we can add um, you know we can do certain things to the data the table here so another way to add a new row is to simply click on the insert row and you can see I can keep inserting rows just by clicking on this button and I can delete the rows as well by just doing just click on the red one the green ones to insert the red ones to, to delete the rows and if I want to insert a column I can click on this insert column here and it will create a new column and I can delete a column but you, you notice when you delete a column it doesn't necessarily put them back in the same widths so you can see this one's much wider now but you can you can easily just adjust the widths of the columns and it's not always each column is going to be the same width it depends on what data you're going to put in there so that should really determine the width of the column itself now at the moment if I just save this document and go to file and print preview or page preview it's called here page preview you'll see that there's no lines in between the cells it's just got the bordering around the edging and if I close this what we want to do is move our mouse cursor to the left hand side of the table and select all of the rows so just hold down the left button left mouse button and drag down so you select all of the the cells here in this table and then we're going to go to this border tool here and when we click on the little drop down we want to select this one and this option here will make sure that all of the borders are drawn around all of the cells so when I click on that now you'll see that they're all highlighted black around the edges if we go to our page preview we can click this little button here we'll see now we see the cells in between as well we can see it a bit more clearly 
that's how you get the borders around the cells you can also select a row and you can change the background color so you can pick any of these colors here um, we may choose to pick this green one for example and then the ones below it we can select these two rows and we can make those a different color let's just make them blue for now so you've got a green top row and then you've got these blue ones below it and as you tab it will keep being continuously being blue because that was the last one that was used in the sequence so that's nice and simple another thing we might want to do is say that this green column here this is our titles for the, the data that's going to go below so in here we might put something like um, let's do that again time date I'm just putting some random information in here location and yeah you would put your own titles and those titles will be a bit more meaningful but um, we can just put some test data in here so we could say 12 So these are just some random times I've put in here. You can see that it put the, the, it automatically formatted and put the the seconds in there for me, and the date. We put in a date here. move between the cells you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard so that's a nice easy way to move between the cells as you're working and I'm just going to put some other test data in here and then we're going to do some more work on the actual table itself these are just random dates We've got some sample data in there. Let's just save this and we'll put some locations in here. I'm going to put some sample information in here, it shouldn't take too long. So we've just got some random information in here, it's not really meaningful, I haven't, you know, I haven't really thought about this information I'm putting in here, but I just wanted to put some sort of information in here just to fill it out. Now we can do certain things, so we can select this first row and we can make the titles bold, now the titles look bold, they look a bit better. We could select all of the, all of the table and we could make the fonts a bit more appealing say with Dana for example that the fonts look a bit better and there's other things that we can do so let's just say if we insert another row so let's go and insert another row sometimes you want to split a cell so you can use this split cell tool so if I click on this and then say split cells horizontally or vertically I want to split them horizontally click OK and you can see there's two cells in here and um, for whatever reason you may want to split a cell you wouldn't normally split all of them because that's just like inserting two rows to be honest so you could just insert two rows but sometimes you want to split a cell and put two pieces of information in here maybe it was two different times but on the same date in the same location on the same year for example so 
we could put in 12, 12, 12, and 13, 12. So these are two different times, don't really mean anything, but on the same date. the same year so whatever happened on this particular time two things occurred on the same day in the same location on the same year so we can split a cell like that and show data in that way we can also split them on the vertical but in this example we'll do that as an example so I'm just going to tab out of here and get another row and then I'm going to say I want to split them vertically and you can split them vertically like this as well and then you have you could put two different bits of data in here you can also select that as well and we can click this button here and it will merge the cells together and sometimes you want to merge two cells so you may want to merge these two together the time and the date column you may want to merge them together for whatever reason you can click on this merge tool and that will just be one big cell here and in the two two locations so you can merge and unmerge cells you can click back on here again and you can split the cell on the horizontal and you'll be oops let's do that again we're going to split it on the vertical and you can just adjust it so that it sits bang on where it was before so that's how we can create and edit and delete cells and split the cells that's quite important. Normally I'll split cells quite often if I need to get some other information into the table. <clears throat> so let's have a look at some of these other tools. You've got the line style. So if we were to highlight this whole table, we could change the, the thickness of the lines around the edging. That doesn't look very good. So we'll highlight the table again. And you can change it to maybe, you know, like, a, like this sort of 3D style. I normally keep the lines very simple so I normally just go for a simple thin line you maybe a thicker one a slightly thicker line like this let's just save this and preview it so we can see our table is starting to get data in there and it's starting to format um, let's see what other so we've got alignment tool here as well what we could do here is for example let's take this cell here so in this cell we could say center we can click on this one center vertically so here you can see now the information is sitting in the center on the height or we could have it on the bottom or we can have it at the top so maybe centered will be nice because it's you know it's entirely your choice however you want to format it you can select all three and say stick, put them at the bottom put them at the top or at the center we're only doing that because this cell got split and these these cells here are much bigger now you can see that this is our cell alignment here. We can click on table properties, and in here you can, you know, you can make more minor adjustments the way that the text flows. I'm not going to go through too much on here; it's quite advanced. But like with all things, you should really go and experiment and play around with settings, and that's probably the best way to learn. You can learn new things just by looking at and experimenting with some of these options here in this uh, advanced cell formatting let's just close this so I think that's pretty much about it but let's just try one thing here let's select this table let's go to auto formatting and let's try and pick a format from here maybe something like uh, let's just try this one for example and you can see our data stayed the same but it's, it's, it's formatted it for us very quickly let's try that again on a different format this is not like a quicker way of formatting the table into different colors or styles these are just prefix, prefixed preset ones let's say and you can format them in different ways um, I tend to manually format them and choose my own style, but it's entirely your choice. You can, you know, pick from here as well if you want to uh, make it a bit quicker. But you will remember that it might 
change the values in here you can see look it's changed the date to a, to a number value because that's the type of formatting that specific uh, auto format was set to so you have to be a bit careful in how you um, format the cells majority of the time you would actually format the, do the pre-formatting first and then do the data entry afterwards that will probably be a bit more sensible so I'm just going to undo that and get back my original table so be a bit careful when you do the cell auto formatting because that can really change the, the way that the content is displayed in site so that's just a basic tutorial let's get rid of these blank rows down here of how to add we can delete the rows using that so we've added this basic table we've done some basic formatting we've created a title we've added some test data in there we split the cells we drew the borders around the edging we changed the title background color and the cell colors underneath so i hope that tutorial made sense if you've got any problems give me a shout on youtube just ask me a little question on youtube um, comments and i'll try and help you along your way if you really want to learn more about this application much more in depth then by all means go and check out that tutorial i created this one here open office calc writer's tutorial beginner's tutorial that's really going to give you a, a much greater explanation of all of the tools in open office writer okay i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial